Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them. Crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I'd need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> all right. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> You guys totally freaked out. Now we're gone. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax, it's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Hmm, 
flint and steel, not too shabby. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition's gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. It's not that big of a deal. Endercon will be fun either way. What? Uh, hold on. Let me try that again. What? He's right, Jesse. Incredibly. This is a huge deal. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're gonna start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. Prepare. <laughs> Oh, my God.
know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh. Mm. oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And, uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa. Sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders. You guys are in booth five. I don't like the look of this. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Oh, Beacon sounds awesome. Almost as awesome as us, am I right, guys? I have no idea how we're gonna beat that. Don't leave me hanging. This might be too much for us to handle. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha! Look, it's the Order of the Losers, again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this... And, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Builder Bump. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it.
Building starts... Oh no! A fireworks dispenser! I'm so scared! <laughs> you worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wolves! Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. with you at Endercon. <clears throat> Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Ruben! Where are you, buddy? Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Some pigs. Hey, Reuben, I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Reuben, are you in there? Reuben? Reuben, come here, boy! Eggs. Yeah. Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Ruben? Ruben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben.
Can you hear me, boy? <sighs> Ruben, is that you? you are. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Let's get out of here, Reuben. Hope you're ready for some more walking. We gotta hurry back to town if we don't want to run into... Reuben, run! I think... I think we're good. I think we made it! Buddy, don't leave that spot no matter what. You hear me? I got you. Get away from him! Oh no, he got you! Let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. I guess going to the scariest place in the world is just another day at work for you, huh? Hey, if I haven't faced down death at least twice before lunch, I'm not living up to my full potential. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. The guy you got the skull for, what's his deal? He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. 
and you never thought to ask him, hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just you said- You could come with me. I know, I was there. It was amazing. Kind of starting to have second thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack uh Just place the pieces on the table. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. The Enderman was the right way to go. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Hey, I'll be a gracious winner, but that's it. He'll get one handshake and one good build, good build. Nothing more, nothing less. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! Uh, Crap! Uh, this doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. The only way off this bridge is through them. You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me.
So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends and their time of need paid off yet again. Our Enderman is so lifelike, I don't even want to glance at it. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks in there, somewhere. We deserve a victory party. Who's in? I like all kinds of parties, but especially ones where I get to celebrate winning. About time I'll be the guest of honor at something. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. And just who are you? I'm waiting. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You'd better not be toying with me. Unacceptable. I'm not wasting any more time with you. Ivor. Not a moment too soon. Your partner here almost soured the deal. Ah, well, that's not good. I left my friend Jesse here while I went looking for you. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed, then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. This isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? Lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. There he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! 
Step aside, I please. I have just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. But the keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over... Stop messing around, we need your help. I was looking, I swear. I've just got a short attention span. Alright, alright, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag. That was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Aiden, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, now move. Hey. What do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. <laughs> Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the boat. <laughs> Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! You kidnapped my pig! Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. But he should cook up real nice anyway. Please, he's my friend! To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Otherwise, it's straight to the slaughterhouse for this one. Well, all I've got is this sword. Ooh, that's very nice. With this, I could cut my butchering time in half. Nice doing business with you. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> Here's the thing, we had tickets, but we lost them. Ah, oh, man, I hate it when stuff like that happens. Ugh, me too. I, I feel like such an idiot. I'm sorry, but no tickets, no show. Chief! 
Chicken! 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 Oh! It's gone. You're totally fine. You're totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoo, shoo! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I need slime and fast. But I just... Quickly, there's no time. Ugh, whatever. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Hi, it's me again. One more slime ball, please. I'm afraid not. If I break the rules for you, then I have to break them for everybody, and then I'll be out of slime completely. Sorry. Come on, please. Gotta find one more slime ball. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, Count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw, oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying. I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. A slime in every slot, and uh, every slot, a slime. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right... there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Yeah. Uh. 
Whoa, 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 ah! My poultry! My precious poultry! Keep your eyes closed, they would peck at your rock! Ah! Now's our chance! Hey! Where'd he go? There! Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. We politely ask for what's ours. Short, sweet, and to the point. Not bad. You ready? Ready. See anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? It's like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I said we should ask politely, Axel. Yeah, but if the guy's not here, we can't ask. So I say, we take. I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Ivor could come back any minute. There's no time for looting. There's always time for looting, Jesse. Always. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Nah, I had to give it to some jerkwad butcher to save Reuben's life. Jeez. Oh well, I guess that was a pretty good cause. Here. Now that's two you owe me. Thanks. Again. You're welcome. Don't lose that one. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not gonna believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion, I know this is a big step, but... Come on, Axel, make yourself useful and go find that skull. I am. Uh, nope, you're literally doing the exact opposite of what I just asked you to do. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. <coughs> Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. What the hell is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's... Almost pulsing. Maybe it's some kind of machine. If it is, it's not like any machine I've ever seen. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. So, good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... What the hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? He was in such a hurry to get it, too. There's gotta be something bigger going on here. This has gotta be connected somehow. The chest with the skulls was hidden back here with everything else. It's gotta mean something. But what? I think I know what's going on here. Soul sand plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well... We found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here, while we still can. Ah, 
Guys, scatter! Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised to see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. What was that? Who's there? What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave her alone! Yeah, back off, pal. <laughs> you two! Did you follow me here? You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? I have what I want, and you have exactly what you earned. We know what you're doing down here. Soul sand and three wither skulls? You're building a wither! Huh, smarter than you look. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? If you won't leave of your own volition, <gasps> I'll happily remove you myself. To our friends, the door. Will you? We are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! Gabriel! Please, please! Thank you. Are you with me? Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there! ivor has got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it in this crowd of people... We have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. We should ask Gabriel for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. I'm going after Lucas by myself. By yourself? Are you sure, Jesse? Yeah. The rest of you, go get Gabriel. We're on it, Jesse. We'll figure out a way to warn Gabriel, and then we'll meet you back here. Let's crash this party. Be back as soon as I can. Be careful. This is Bill. One block at a time. With the right training and guidance, anyone, and I... Here goes nothing. Super loudly? Lucas! Over here! No! 
This is the best spot I've ever been in. Just run! Run where? You don't think I tried that already? 